Good evening YouTubers. Today I have something that's really cool. Uh, this is outside my norm again as you well know. If you look at my videos my primary interest and concern is 45 RPM players, the RCAs and their uh, licensed offspring. But I've uh, developed an interest on these new large tapes um, which I'll show you in just one second. And uh, this is a Bellomatic. Uh, it's a um, cartridge player that I'm going to show you. The cartridges were around for roughly oh six years I guess they just never caught on primarily because not much was available in that format uh, when they introduced these players and RCA was the the, uh, the, the manufacturer that introduced the system uh, they just didn't have much available in the line of music and uh, for that reason I think more than anything else these things fell to the wayside but this is a very unusual um, player this is the uh, Bellomatic. I have a little service manual here. This is a model 603. They had a 601 which was strictly monaural and this is the 603 which is um, stereo. It can be, can be uh, recorded in monaural if you want but it's uh, primarily stereo. And um, I'm trying to think of how many tubes are in this thing. I think there were five tubes in this one here. I should have done my homework before I started the video but um, what makes it so unique is that the case itself, we're just going to open this up. Let me put this down one second. Okay. The uh, top is now off. You'll notice that in the front is a speaker and along the side is a speaker. Well, there's an extension. And inside the top of the lid, you see the two microphones and this would be the extension wire for the left hand speaker. Now these things were built like tanks. I can't tell you how well they're built. Uh, the case itself is machined aluminum. It's no lightweight. It's pretty heavy. I think this thing weighs in around 15 pounds. Um, so it's no lightweight for the size that it is, but it is built like a tank. It really is. It's tube type obviously, and if I recall correctly this was built in 1961. Notice the large cartridges. These would have been the forerunners to the mini cassettes that you would play in your car and inside here. and um, the other unique thing about this player, if you look on the top there, is that we have the ability not only to play in three and three quarters, which was the standard in the industry, but you could also play in one and seven eight. So if you were recording your own music, you had the choice of using uh, a slower tape, and uh, so you got more on the tape, obviously. And um, these are really, really nice. You know, if I take a look on the top here, and I, I know I've got some late issues here because this isn't where I normally do my videos, but we have the on off switch, uh, we have our two lights there for um, recording, uh, there's those kind that uh, go together like this, you know, when you record, you have your left volume on the outside, your right volume on the inside, stereo, one and two on, on left and right, um, we have rewind, stop, play, forward, and record. So it's full featured, and of course this would be to change from the three and three quarters to one and seven eighths. This absolutely beats the snot out of the early RCA players, the portable players. Uh, because RCA had a player as well that had the speaker in the center. And the speakers aren't some half ass speakers either. They're uh, four and a half or five inch and they're Jensen's. So again, this was a quality machine all the way. This is built to last and here we are, you know, 50 years later and this thing still is as good as it uh, was new. So let's give you a demonstration. Right now this has already been rewound and uh, this happens to be actually the tape that would have come with the unit. This is for stereo demonstration with the Melomatic tape cartridge recorder and uh, this is the TRW603. So let's turn her on here. Let's uh, get excited and see it play. cartridge recorder. This is how to tape it easy with the new Bellomatic Stereo Tape Cartridge Recorder that plays and records stereo on the tape you never have to touch. This is the world's most lightweight, only 18 pounds, compact, no larger than a woman's vanity case, complete all-in-one stereo tape recorder. 
Notice the second speaker over here in the lid. And there's a built-in stereo amplifier and speaker in the main unit. Here, why don't you let me show you how easy it is to record stereo on the tape you never have to touch. Not now. There are people watching us. Well... Well, maybe we should first let them listen to stereo on this new Bellomatic. You know, just to get things started off right. Okay. All set? Here we go. cartridge recorder. Flip, it's in. Flick, it's on. Anyone can do it. New tape cartridge loads in two seconds. Tape it easy and get more fun for your money with the new tape cartridge. Record up to one hour of stereo, two hours of monaural at the regular three and three quarter speed. For long play voice recording at the slower speed, you get two hours of stereo, four hours monaural recording time. That's a lot of playing time. Which reminds me, play some more stereo music on the Bellomatic tape cartridge recorder. Ready? <laughs> Okay, I'm going to stop it for a moment. The other nice thing about this, unlike the RCA, is that when you go forward uh, or reverse, it actually takes the tape away from the head so you're not hearing the music whizzing past the head. So here's forward. And we'll stop it for a second. In fact, I'm going to let it rewind all to the end there, and it will automatically stop when it reaches that point. And um, so again, it's kind of rare. These Bellomatics don't often show up. This one was a real treat for me because I didn't pay a whole lot. I paid $50 for it. Uh, the motor was seized up tighter than a frog's ass, but I took the time to uh, unseize it. I, I haven't done any more work to it. Like I said, it's got um, a tube-type um, chassis in it. I haven't replaced any caps or anything like that, and it's operating just fine. 
Uh, there will be a period of time later on that I'll go in there and change all the caps in there and uh, clean it up really good. But uh, here it is, you know, 1961 to 2013, several years later, decades later, and uh, it operates just the way it's supposed to. So I hope you enjoyed seeing something different. Um, I kind of like these tapes. Um, they show up every now and then. Uh, they're more difficult to find than reel-to-reels, that's for sure. Uh, but they're very handy, very neat. You know, they're oversized, obviously. I mean, just look at my hand against it, just to give you an idea how large that cassette is. And uh, there's a few videos on YouTube that will show the um, the RCA versions, but not too many, if any at all, on the Bellomatic. So I thought this was worthy of showing. I have another Bellomatic coming very shortly. It's a model 404 that has a wood grain look to it. I'm kind of excited to see that that's also another stereo model. Hasn't arrived yet, but when it does, I'll do a video on that as well. So let's hope you've enjoyed seeing something different. The system, I believe, was introduced in 1957 or 58, but by 1962, that was it. They were all done and gone. Uh, so it didn't last long. I hope you've enjoyed seeing something a little bit different, and I'm very, very fond of this player. I can't believe how well built it is. Have a great day, and uh, look forward to my next video coming up.